All right, I officially need to make a video about this. I genuinely believe what I'm about to say, and that is that 10.15 is the most unbalanced Mythic Plus patch that we have ever had in terms of class representation. Just look at this front page here. It is the same three DPS specs in every single key, and it is the same tank in every single key, and there is one preservation of Oka pushing right now. The representation is completely out of whack, and I would say this meta in terms of class specialization, which has brought the keys, is very, very oppressive right now. And this trickles down as well. This really does trickle down into the regular Pug keys. Everyone wants Evokers and Shadow Priests and Fire Mages because they're played at the top, and it's going to make the keys easier to time. So why wouldn't you want to take the best specs? Well, it's not always been like this. And before anyone says, oh, it's always the same, there's always one comp at the top that pushes... That's not true at all. Let's go and have a look at Dragonflight Season 1. This is a rainbow of colours. There are so many different potential options. I mean, look at this. The top team, Balance Druid, Enhancement Shaman, and Subtlety Rogue, and the team right beneath, Fire Mage, Demon Hunter, and Shadow Priest. There is no, no comparison here at all. There's not a single duplication. And this is backed up on the data. This is 25 pluses and up again. We've seen higher keys already, so it's not to do with the key level that's being done. And the representations are completely different. Look at this. 16.5% augmentation, 11% guardian druids, 10.5% fire mages, 15% shadow priests, 13-14% holy pardons. That's crazy. This is so, so bad. I don't know how Blizzard have done it. I praised Blizzard in Season 1 because I said this is probably the best that Mythic Plus has ever felt. I feel like I could probably play any class, not any spec, but I could probably play any class in the game and do relatively well. The only, and I think this is about right, the only outliers were DKs and then Hunters. Even then, I felt like you could play them at a relatively high level. Look at this Hunter representation now. Look at this DK representation now. Look at this. This is crazy. It's so low. Obviously, it's only been a couple of weeks, but I really do think it is official. This is the worst the meta has ever been. And in reality, what can Blizzard do about it? They need to nerf some of these specs because it is so bad. I don't think that these specs are being brought just because of their damage. It's the overall package. It's the incredible utility, the tankiness that comes with augmentation. Again, tankiness and utility that comes with Shadow... You really need a Shadow Priest right now because of Soothe, because of Mass Dispel, because of Mind Control. It's almost essential. And then Fire Mage just does the most damage in the game, in my opinion. And they just gave it Mass Barrier as well. So it also helps tankiness. Holy Paladin does ridiculous healing. Guardian incredibly tanky whilst doing damage. It's just the entire package here. Everything is pretty broken in my opinion. If we go and look at some other seasons, right? I've pulled two seasons where in the past people thought the meta was pretty bad. And it was incredibly stale. Season 3 of Shadowlands. Probably one of the worst ever seasons in my opinion in terms of class balancing. And it's nowhere near as oppressive as the current patch. Look at this, even on the front page, we have some changes. We have some fire mages, we have some windwalkers, and then there's survival and destruction. Survival and destruction were obviously a common feature. We have some difference in paladin versus priest, although not really, and then everyone is playing DK. But look at this, it's fairly equal among the off meta specs. There's rogues, priests, DKs, shamans. Fire mages aren't even played that often, but then there's monks. There are a few that aren't doing too well, right? A few classes. But in general, everything's pretty playable. It does not look like this. It does not look like this at all. Let's go and have a look at Season 4, which was slightly better, although also incredibly unbalanced. And again, we've got a few more specs creeping in. We've got a warrior at the top. We've got some rogue representation as well, right? And again, it looks pretty okay. There's not that many specs, which is completely nuked off the face of the earth. Not like this current patch. And I think it really is completely broken. Blizzard have to step in, in my opinion, and do more than they've already done, because I think even in this week, with the new nerfs that are coming for augmentation, this comp is here to stay. I really think that this comp is here to stay. And this is backed up by the data already this week. The data this week is suggesting that there are no melee specs above an A. Which is crazy. Look at that. No melee specs in the majority of the range specs below B as well. 
I think everything needs buffed that isn't these three specs, and I think these three specs need nerfed. Now, if you nerf these three specs, what happens to the current push? So the push for the 0.1% title, well, the race is essentially ended, in my opinion. If these three specs, and potentially Holy Paladin, need nerfs, and maybe even Guardian, if everything gets nerfed again, then the season's basically over. You could just end the season. The only way out I see in making the the meta less stale whilst maintaining the competitive push for the 0.1% title would be to bring forward the 10.17 patch so it happens in the next few weeks, so let's say three or four weeks, and then we get a really broken item with it. That's the only way that they can deal with what they've created right now. And also, something else to mention is the reason why the race isn't going to be particularly easy for 0.1% is because Naltharian's Lair has also been nerfed. Now, this is on my second point. So the first point is that the meta is incredibly stale. Something needs fixing and they're going to have to nerf stuff. Dungeons are also getting nerfed far too late into the season. This also happened in Season 1, by the way, but it wasn't too bad because it was mostly that they were getting nerfed in the sense that the keys were getting easier. This is making the keys harder late into the season, which is just ridiculous. I do not think they should be doing this, and they need to learn from their mistakes. They can't do this again in the future. So in Naltharus, the burning chain strategy was by far the most dominant chain strategy in keys. Every three minutes, the entire party could click on a chain and essentially detonate the chain on a group of mobs, instantly killing the group. Now what they've done, so you can't use it on all mobs, basically. You can only use it on mobs in the Chargath area, wherever it mentions it. So here, no longer interacts with these mobs. It's basically only on these sets of mobs, which is pretty nuts. It really is. It basically means there's three, maybe four extra pulls in that key now, which is what a three, four minute, roughly speaking at a high level, three or four minute nerf to the dungeon timer. And there's been no compensation nerfs anywhere else. So yeah, we look at this, right? A lot of these keys and Altharuses, well, they're dead now. So I think that this season's going to be over. If next week they have to nerf Evoker again and they have to nerf Fire Mage and Holy Paladin and Guardian Druid, right? I think they'll probably leave Shadow Priest because they've just been through some nerfs. I I think the season's done for. They need to buff everything else a lot to keep the, the patch going, in my opinion. Um, yeah, and Blizzard have to learn from... They really need to learn from this. You cannot release a new spec that is completely broken. You cannot rework specs that are in a completely broken state, right? when they get released. You have to release them, tentatively release them in a conservative position, and then buff them up to where you want them to be. I know Blizzard wants some specs to be on the carousel at like S tier, and then, you know, it's going to fluctuate up and down depending on the cycle of the seasons and the the way that the, the current meta is. But if they're going to do that, right, and if they're going to release specs partway through a season and rework specs, they need to buff them up to where they want to be, not release them where they're so good that they need to be nerfed because, like I said, basically I think the season's over at this point. Um, and genuine, they, they have to nerf these specs more because even with the changes, we are still seeing some absolute domination. So I'm, I'm almost sold that more nerfs are going to happen. It's just a question of when and what they're going to do to keep the season going because at the moment, I do genuinely think this. I think that the 0.1% title race is basically over and... You're not going to be able to push into it because there's been so much influx in IO of the past two weeks when the broken specs were released. I'd love to know what you think down in the comments, whether you think this season's been particularly bad. Pugging experience, I haven't actually pugged that many keys. We've been pugging healers at the moment in our push keys. They've all been 25 plus keys. Um, and over, let's say, five or six keys yesterday, we saw one class that wasn't a Holy Paladin, or one spec that wasn't a Holy Paladin that applied in the healer role, and that was a Resto Shaman. The rest were all Holy Paladins. I think this is genuinely the worst that I've ever seen the meta. Everyone is playing these meta specs because they are so much better, which is just crazy. It really, really is not healthy for the game, like I said, because I do think it trickles down and affects other pug keys. I'd love to know what you're currently experiencing, whether you're finding it difficult to get into keys because of this meta, because everyone wants an augmentation of Ogre, right? Whether you're main swapping because you're just going to the meta like I am, right? I've Flavor of the Month swapped onto Augmentation of Ochre as well. So I'd love to hear that in the comments. 
Hopefully you enjoyed the video, though, as I always say, I want to give a huge thank you to my few Patreon subscribers. I don't have many, but honestly, I appreciate you so much because of the consistent income. It really does mean a lot to me. So if you would also like to potentially support me beyond a thumbs up and a subscribe, then you could also head on over to my Patreon and check out what I offer in return. Having said that, hopefully you have enjoyed this video, and if you have done, we will catch you in the next one. Peace.